All right, good evening, you guys. Uh, thank you for taking the time to jump on the call. Uh, I know you all know me, but I'm Hannah Casal. This is an assignment for uh, one of my classes at Auburn for the Nurse Practitioner Program. Um, so on the call tonight, I have Hillary Petty, which is my sister, and I have Derek Casal, who is my husband. And neither of them are um, medical backgrounds. So we're gonna, uh, the, the point of this assignment is for me to interview you all, ask you some questions and have you um, give me your honest answers and then I'll kind of give you some background on what I'm talking to you about, okay? So I'm just gonna ask you a few questions and y'all can just both chime in. Uh, the first question is, what is a family nurse practitioner? A family mm -hmm. nurse practitioner? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that it's a nurse practitioner that works in a family practice um, who works probably under the guidance of a doctor. Most practitioners work, I think, in tandem with a doctor or they answer to a doctor. Okay. Derek, anything to add? Would it be, to, I, I really don't know, maybe the person that you meet when you first go in that sees you before the doctor comes in? <laughs> okay. All right, so a family nurse practitioner is actually an advanced practice registered nurse, so an APRN, um, and they provide family-centered care across the lifespan. So as a nurse practitioner, I'll be able to treat anywhere from infants to adolescents to adults to the elderly. And in Florida specifically, to become a family nurse practitioner, you have to meet all the requirements to be a registered nurse and then complete a master's degree or higher in a nursing field and pass a national board certification. So those are the requirements to become a nurse practitioner or a family nurse practitioner in Florida. But good answers. Um, number two, do you think a family nurse practitioner has to collaborate with a physician? So like Hillary said, work in tandem with a physician. Um, I would say yes, I, okay, I would say yes too. Okay. Um, so collaboration actually varies from one state to the next. So in some states, you do have to work in collaboration with a physician. Other states, you do not. In Florida, our Nurse Practice Act, which is written in Chapter 464 of statute, uh, it actually says that nurse practitioners do have to work in collaboration with a physician, except that last year in 2020, um, I know, Derek, you know, I went to Tallahassee several times with the Association of Nurse Practitioners, and they were actually able to pass a, um, a, an independent practice act in Florida last year through legislation that allows for uh, any registered nurse practitioner who meets certain criteria can actually apply to become an autonomous advanced registered nurse practitioner. So then it's kind of like an independent practitioner. So in order to do that, you have to be a nurse practitioner, meet all the requirements that we just talked about. And then there's 3,000 hours of clinical practice under a physician within the previous five years that have to be met before you can apply. So for someone like me, fresh out of school, I will not be able to apply for that. But after right. 3,000 hours under another physician, a collaborating physician, then you can apply to become an independent practitioner. Um, number three, what can a family nurse practitioner do? I say everything a <laughs> doctor can do except for surgery, maybe. Okay. I mean, major surgery. I'm sure you can remove warts and things like that. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess it depends on how you define surgery, but I mean. Um, Derek, anything to add? Uh, in the clinic type of things, whatever's done in the clinic setting, yeah. I would say. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask another question before I give you guys some feedback. Can a family nurse practitioner diagnose illnesses? You broke up on me. I'm sorry. Can a, can a nurse practitioner diagnose illnesses? Yes. You agree, Derek? Yes, but does the doctor have to confirm it? Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. Can a family nurse practitioner manage chronic and acute illnesses? I think you said chronic. Uh, you're, you were breaking up on me, but if manage chronic and acute illness, illnesses. I say yes. Okay. 
And then one more question. Can a family nurse practitioner order diagnostic tests like labs and x-rays? I would say yes. Yes. Okay. So yes, um, a family nurse practitioner can uh, perform physical exams. We will, um, I, I will be able to order and perform diagnostic tests, prescribe medications, develop treatment plans, and uh, nurse practitioners do in fact treat chronic and acute illnesses. Now in the Nurse Practice Act in Florida, I wanna read that verbatim here. It says that family nurse practitioners are authorized to initiate and monitor therapies for certain uncomplicated acute illnesses and monitor and manage patients with stable chronic diseases. So as long as the acute illness is uncomplicated and as long as the chronic disease is uh, stable and manageable, then yes, yeah. we, can, uh, we can manage those. Um, and in Florida, nurse practitioners can also order physical and occupational therapy, uh, can treat some certain behavioral illnesses and as recent as last year with the new um, Independent Practice Act, some nurse practitioners can even sign death certificates. So um, can a nurse, a family nurse practitioner do simple office procedures? Sure. I didn't What's hear the question, the I'm sorry. Office? Can a family nurse practitioner do simple office procedures? Simple office, I'm sorry, it's like glitching. Can a, and I don't wanna, Take okay. up too much time. But... Do simple office procedures. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so several office procedures are allowable under certain billing codes. Um, things like blood draws, wound care, simple sutures for laceration repairs, toenail removals, um, incision and drainages where you drain abscesses. Those, those types of office procedures are allowed. Um, number eight, can a family nurse practitioner write prescriptions? I would say yes. What about would... prescribe? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Prescribe narcotics? Uh, no. Um, I'm going to say. I'm going no. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay. So according to the Nurse Practice Act in Florida, again, I'm gonna read this verbatim, nurse practitioners can prescribe, dispense, administer, or order any drug. So however, nurse practitioners can only prescribe or dispense narcotics in the state of Florida if they have graduated from a uh, master's or a doctoral level program. Uh, so some of the older nurse practitioners who have been grandfathered in and who are not master's prepared nurse practitioners um, are not able to and that you also have to register with the federal drug enforcement agency so you have to get a DEA number and be a graduate of a, a master's or above degree program so some states actually require you to register both with a state registry and a federal registry but Florida only requires the federal registry for the DEA number all right, a couple more questions. Can a uh, family nurse practitioner bill for their services? I would say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, yes. Um, so aside from the educational requirements, the board certification requirement, uh, and the licensure requirements to be a nurse practitioner, um, family nurse practitioners have to obtain what's called a uh, national provider identifier number, so an NPI number and an employer provider number. Um, the NPI number will be specific to that practitioner no matter where they practice. The employee provider number actually follows, uh, does not follow them from one location to the other. So if someone practiced in multiple locations, they have to use the number to bill for services that's specific to that clinic. If that makes sense. The NPI number, if I moved to California, it would follow me. It's a national provider identifier. Um, last question, what is the difference between a nurse practitioner and a physician assistant? So a PA. I think the only difference would be the amount of training that you have. The nurse practitioner has more extensive training. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> I have no and is idea. able to do more. Yeah. Okay. So nurse practitioners, they, they are trained under the nursing model. So we are trained to take, you know, we're obviously we're nurses before we're nurse practitioners. So we have that holistic approach. You take the whole 
patient into account. You're focusing on disease prevention, health education. So instead of just looking and saying, this is what's wrong, let's fix it. You're kind of seeing how to prevent that disease from happening. Proactive. Yes. Yeah. And um, PAs are actually trained on the medical model. So they're trained according to the med school model, which is much more focused on pathophysiology and what's wrong, how do I fix it? So their training yeah. is, is a little bit more focused on procedures. Um, oh. And then they actually, um, full practice authority is what nurse practitioners are seeking to gain. And I think the last count I saw, like in 44 states, they had pat there's legislation that has been passed to allow for that independent practice of practitioners whereas PAs are still struggling to get to gain that independence from physicians so they're still working under I think only one state I read is in effect with this optimal team practice is what they call it um, so the remaining states require full oversight by physicians so that's one of the bigger differences there too so all right deal. that's all I got any other questions that's fine Okay. Thank you. Thank I learned you. something. Thank you. Yeah, me too. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.